Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how Skin's original cast members reunited. Let's get right into it. Original Skin's cast members Nicholas Holt, Kaya Scodelario, Joe Dempsey, and Larissa Wilson reconnected over lunch this month, 15 years after the first series aired. From 2007 to 2013, the controversial teen drama followed the lives of a group of Bristol teenagers, tackling issues such as mental illness, eating disorders, and substance abuse. In an image that evoked serious nostalgia for fans, the first-generation stars could be seen beaming for the camera as they caught up in the sunshine, proving their friendship is still as strong as it was all those years ago. As she sat next to Nicholas, who played her older brother Tony, Kaya, who played Effie Stoneham, could be seen beaming towards the front of the shot. Opposite of them were Larissa, who played Jal Frazier, and Joe, who played Chris Miles. Larissa, who was accompanied by her daughter on the lunch date, also uploaded a separate photo of Kaya and Joe, with whom she had lived for several years. Since leaving the E4 drama, the group has gone on to have successful careers, with Nicholas, who previously found fame as a child star in About a Boy, having the most success as a fully-fledged Hollywood actor. Holt has gone on to become one of the skin's most successful former cast members, according to Digital Spy. He has appeared in films including Mad Max, Fury Road, Jack and the Giant Slayer, and Kill Your Friends. His most famous role was probably as Hank McCoy or Beast in the X-Men films. In addition, Holt has played two notable authors in different projects. In Rebel in the Rye, he played J.D. Salinger, and in Tolkien, he played J.R.R. Tolkien. He also dabbled in voice acting, portraying the rabbit Fiverr in the animated film Watership Down. He most recently portrayed Emperor Peter III in the Hulu original series The Great. Holt may have began his career as a fresh-faced young boy, but he avoided the pitfalls that many child stars face. His fans are relieved, as they have enjoyed watching him develop into a successful, handsome, and talented actor. Meanwhile, Larissa has previously appeared in Holby City, Kingdom, and suspects before retiring from acting. Wilson appears to have taken a break from acting in recent years. And then there's Joe. Joe Dempsey had a very few acting roles prior to playing Chris Miles. Prior to his role on Skins, he played Ben Campbell on Sweet Medicine in 2003, Humphrey Bogey Locke on the series Born and Bred in 2005, and Danny on Doctors from 2001 to 2004. Dempsey has continued to appear in television shows and films. From 2011 to 2019, his most well-known role was as Gendry on HBO's Game of Thrones. Dempsey also starred as Daniel in the 2019 TV miniseries Adulting and played Rich in the series Adult Material. Meanwhile, Kaya Scodelario played Tony's enigmatic younger sister Effie. Kaya starred as Eve in Moon and Peshet in Clash of the Titans shortly after breaking into the industry with her role in Skins. The actress went on to star in a number of major motion pictures, including the Maze Runner trilogy. She was also Karina Smith in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and Carol Ann Boone in Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. Scotelario was also seen as Cat Baker on the Netflix TV show Spinning Out. She also appeared in the 2022 fantasy film The King's Daughter as Marie Joseph Delember. It comes after Kaya branded hit show Euphoria crazy before them remembering her own role in E4 series Skins. The actress took to TikTok recently where she expressed shock at the antics of the characters, with the HBO show centering around 17-year-old high school students amid their struggles with drugs, sex, and trauma. However, Kaya was quick to recall her own turn as tearaway teen Effie Stoneham in Skins, which was filmed when she was just 14 years old. Filming herself staring wide-eyed at the camera, Kaya mouthed over words which said, Watching Euphoria for the first time, thinking this is crazy for 17-year-olds, then remembering what I was doing on TV at 14. Euphoria began in 2019 and stars Zendaya, Jacob Elordi, and Sidney Sweeney, with Zendaya recently forced to defend the show after it was accused of glorifying teen drug use. Kaya captioned her clip, writing, We'll always be grateful, but yeah, safeguarding really wasn't a thing back then. Kaya fans were quick to respond to her video, with many comparing the two shows and remarking that skins paved the way for Euphoria. 
15 years later, Skins is still making an impact. Most TV shows about teenagers in the early 2000s, particularly in the United States, were glossy affairs supported by a cast of actors at least 10 years older than their fictional age. Dawson's Creek, The O.C., and Gossip Girl all depicted slick fantasy lives centered on money and movie star looks. They painted a traditional picture of what they thought their audience might aspire to. Surprisingly, in retrospect, this involved ostentatious houses and cars, as well as toured romantic affairs that adopted the language of middle-aged married couples. Skins changed everything. It debuted years ago today, and it took the radical step of thinking about and consulting young viewers to determine what they might want and aspire to. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we will be sure to catch you all in the next one.